Yeah, first did Hubble in uh, 1990, uh, June 1990. So, uh, I mean, June the 14th, it was the day after my birthday. So, um, yeah, 24 years ago in about two weeks' time, in fact. What was it like doing kind of the next step of, of climbing in that generation? I think it was only over time, really, that you sort of realise how hard something is. And do you know how many total ascents there have been? Um, well, it's me, Malk, John Gaskins, Steve Dunning, Steve McCure, so five. Five. Definitely seemed like a big, big step up from the other stuff that I'd done. Hubble was actually, uh, it was already a route, but it had two points of aid at the start, mm. which is what I free climbed. I was pretty lucky, really, actually. I mean, I did it, you know, like I say, in June. Um, but I was trying it sort of May, June time and it was pretty good conditions. A bit like today really, sort of, if I remember rightly. I mean, it's been hot the last couple of days, so I can imagine that makes it hard. The first couple of moves are actually really hard. Yeah. And then, uh, the big foothold, the left foothold, for some reason gets wet. Right. I don't really understand why because there's nothing on the crux. Into it. Yeah. Right, okay. And I'm so that foothold's getting that. wet, so I just pack a lot of chalk in and yeah. for the best. Yeah. The hardest move for me is coming, going around my knee to the pocket. Yeah. And then from there... No! Uh, the next three moves are, are hard, but like the next They're pretty cool, okay those for next me. moves, yeah. aren't they? It yeah, is cool, and there's a whole bunch of different things. ways to do with your feet. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like that, and I slap for that, and then uh -huh. it's quite hard to move your feet. Yeah. And I get a, like a toe up behind the pinch. Move your feet. I keep my feet like that. Yeah. I go like this, yeah. and I just squeeze, and then I just come yeah, into the okay. undercling. Right. <laughs> just so I don't have to move. And right. then from this position, my right foot goes back up. I put my left foot just a tiny bit up, and then do the last hard move. Yeah. And it's because I don't want to move my feet too much. No. I just want to grab it and just tense up my whole core just to come into the undercling. Because yeah. the undercling is good enough that I can move my feet around. Yeah. And then do it on my last move. Yeah. And on the last move, do you go to the layaway? Nope. No. <laughs> go straight away to the sharp yeah. one. And my, my reasoning behind that was because it, because it is sharp, yeah. my feet can blow. As long as I hit the hold, I'm hopefully not going to fall. Yeah. So. I mean, it's a cool last move, that. Yeah. Whether, whichever way you do it, but if you get that sort of arm thing and then slap again. Yeah. But uh, I think that was, one of the reason, that was one of the things that made me realize it was a hard <laughs> move, is that just the, the moving your feet was hard. Mm -hmm. you know, even once yeah. you do the hand moves, then you, to move your feet was powerful, you need loads of body tension and stuff. And something I found really hard over the past couple of days is you can't really work the moves very well. No, it's tricky, isn't it? I mean, from whichever one of the bolts, you can touch all the holds, you can brush them, but to mm. actually pull onto the wall, pull on, yeah. I find quite a struggle yeah. for all of the moves in there. Yeah. Yeah. I had fun trying the route. It revolves around, for me, it's nine moves, of which five or six are really hard, and it feels like you're just bouldering on a rope. It's harder than bouldering on a rope because you have to deal with quick draws and the harness and the rope, uh, but it's hard, and I would say it's probably, you know, a 8B plus boulder, B14 boulder, but uh, in the end, just some wicked hard moves and, uh, and a good experience. I had a fun time here and uh, yeah, I'd like to come back to, to Redpoint and 